Yes, ma'am. Second. me now yeah all right um, I had managed to find two uh, full-size impalas through state contract number e194 72765 a copy of which is in your pack because the total is over 30 we need a vote any questions uh, they will be for travel um, or conferences, et cetera. Um, we now have the verses. If you have more than a couple people go, you have to take two cars. <clears throat> so these would be for travel. Um, yeah, we're, we're adding them uh, to the fleet, and we're going to try to have two per year so that we replenish our, our fleet out here. So we'll be, we'll be old yes, the worst, the worst one will ever come on. One of the things that been used is broke down. Is oh, yeah, some of them are, are in pretty rough shape. Right. We've got one that's been sitting on the street and boy for six weeks. Anybody know why? I've been watching them move in six weeks. I don't know why. We'll, ha we'll have to ask transportation um, that question. I, did, I just wanted to do I mean, Yeah, I had not. I, I had had problem with it was just that it all comes up and like we have to suspend policy to buy them. I mean, we had to have known this at the meeting the other night. Well, the reason at the meeting the other night, I, excuse me, I'm, I'm real loud here. Um, we were. The transportation supervisor preferred Fords, and I had um, sent him. He had gone and looked. He talked to a few people in South Hill. I looked through state contracts. I'd not been able to find really what Lee wanted. So at the last minute, I did find the state contract, um, and then not only find the state contract, but find someone that had the two vehicles available that could get them to us. and. Um, I finally found that and got this thing together this weekend. I was working on it, but I did not have it finalized Monday. <coughs> I'd just like to add part part of the job with year end, it makes it which makes it more difficult for for Donna to do her job is we're funded by categories, so she's not just looking at like a lot of systems. They look at the total revenue coming in, total expenditures. And you can look at that figure a whole lot easier. She's got to look at every category, including transportation, and can't commit to buying those two vehicles. 
with, without going over that category. So she has to make sure all the bills that are coming in, well, and gas we, at the end of the year. She juggles all that for every category. We also this year we we wanted to make sure that we started this uh, 2015 year with full fuel tanks, um, parts on inventory. We are in much better shape this year than we started last year. So once I made sure that all of that was done is when we said, well, we do have a little bit. And, and it's all dependent, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <coughs> it's all dependent, like category like transportation. <coughs> uh, la last year, I know we had a lot of repairs. This year, we didn't have as money, as many. As many, so each each year is uniquely different, especially in maintenance and transportation. But each category. No, no. Oh, it's it's the majority are funded by total. You could ask them, but that's their call. Somebody asked the name we ever asked them. I don't know. I don't know the history. Because that would give us a lot more facility. Do we have plenty of oil and filters in the bus shop now? I've had uh, some concerns from bus drivers that they have actually gone in on their scheduled maintenance run to get, get the oil filters and oil changed in the bus shop. Didn't have any oil and no filters. Told them to take them back on. Um, well, as far as I know that we do this year, that's something that Lee Livingston and myself have worked very hard on to maintain an inventory. In fact, he's gone to bulk oil, which I think has saved us quite a bit of money rather than running up to Napa to buy it. Um, so as far as I know, the last I talked to Lee before we made this decision, he, he had a pretty good inventory there at the bus shop. <coughs> Yeah, just one more. With Lee, was it just a personal preference as to why he wanted to go with the, the Ford, I guess the Ford Tauruses versus the um, Impalas? I, I really think, Mr. Sturdivant, it's because that's what they have the most of, and he felt like it would be maybe easier for his mechanics. To stick um, with the Fords? To stick with the Fords. But um, looking at the Fords and looking locally, we would only have been able to get one. Um, I, w I was not able to find a cost that was anywhere near this. They were at least 2,000 more uh, per b vehicle. I think he was looking at Ford Fusions. Okay. <coughs> and if we don't spend it in this category, then we have to give it back over to the... Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, I went over, over the bills and uh, talked about the, the purchases of uh, the computers and the under state contract. Is that correct, Miss? Yes, sir. And there was a, if you look on that, first, that front cover sheet, there was a uh, 42151 that she was trying to get straight. You found it, if you look on it, it should be the federal funds. What one of 451? Okay, that he he's the the sheet that I just gave, gave you. you. There's a number stuck in our encumbrances, four hundred and twenty-four dollars and fifty-one cents. That's down there in federal funds. That will not be anything. It should be a zero, and I'm still working with RDA to get it out. But but that's what Mr. Bullock's referring to. So we have we have seven hundred fifty thousand dollars left over in that category. Well, no, sir. Um, federal is based more on how much we bring in and how much we expend. I have a nice spreadsheet that evidently I forgot to hit print because when I just went and looked for it, it was not there. We are actually between federal, state, and local at about 200000 left. If you take out federal, we're at about $120,000 left. 
the textbook funds stay in the account the school food funds stay in the account so we're sending back at the most between local state and federal 200,000 based on my estimates we don't have all our revenue in yet <clears throat> Medicare, Medicare money go when it comes back in? Um, go back into general fund costs or does it come back into us? Right now, it is coming into as local funds, and we did have excess um, in that this year, but because our state revenues were down 335000 from what they told us at the beginning of the year, we had to use some of those excess revenues to offset our budget. Does that go through the county before we get it or is it just It did right? not in this case. There's about eighty thousand dollars there that came in in June that I have not asked the county to appropriate. I was so close on my expenditures. I said if we don't get every little bit we're asking for we might be safe to have that hundred and twenty rather than just twenty thousand left over. What were our total Medicaid reimbursement? 200 almost two hundred and thirty thousand dollars so I didn't see nothing else on the uh, interview bill so concerned <laughs> any more questions on the bills or we want I'd like to point out in the bills, um, you, you have uh, ST Math, which is uh, going to be a yearly renewal through sole source. You have IA, Interactive Achievement, that's through the regional bid uh, each year, and that's $59,629.50. It's in your bills broken up, though, between elementary and secondary because it's it's the uh, it's what we do with our benchmarks and it has to be has to be shown when we give it into the annual report to the state it has to be shown that we're spending it on elementary middle and high school so it's broken up in your bills but it's a total of 59 and then we have Dell netbooks and Chromebooks I don't have the exact total Donna <coughs> probably does but that's uh, we bought through the Virginia State contract earlier in the year, and we finished that purchase at this point, again, through the Virginia State contract. And what we were told is these are things that have, anything that's been approved in the past through the same contract, we need to inform you if it's over 30000 But you've already voted on these contracts in the past. The debt the total for Dell is three hundred twenty-eight thousand one hundred four ninety. And we receive money each year. To, that's the thing you approved. We talked about last month. VPSA funds uh, that you buy hardware, <laughs> which is mainly computers, Dell switches, things like that. Are the the Dells are they going to? That's different than the Chromebook, correct? No, these are Dell Chromebooks and Dell netbooks. Okay, they so that covers the Chromebook as well as the netbooks. Yes. Okay. It's two different things. So the Chromebooks are are cheaper, and but they serve they serve all of our needs in one particular. Area. The netbooks serve okay. The, whatever the other technology needs that it has to have in it. So, but soon the Chromebooks will be uh, hopefully. Uh, the Chromebooks will be able to be used for state testing. Hopefully within the next two years. Is that somewhat accurate, Ron? Yeah. So so our goal is as we get closer to this one-to-one -one initiative in, in middle and high school, near the end of the year we collect those Chromebook <coughs> notebooks, whatever the students have, and we can set up testing sites basically in every classroom, make testing a whole lot easier. Okay, so we're going to stay with the Dales versus... Are we looking at crossing over to the Apple products, or are we going to stick with the, the Dell for the majority? Well, the reason we're with Dell is they're the only company right now will give, that gives us that three-year warranty. And, Ron, correct me if I'm not accurate with any of this, but th they give the full three-year coverage, so they give us a full replacement. And uh, Do we send those off, or our people are, 
are able to do it, correct? Work on it. Right. And then do do we get anything back for that? Right. And do we get any money for for doing that? Uh, not anymore. Not anymore. Okay. And then we're used to it. It's basically a warranty thing. Suspend policy of transportation vehicles. Abolition of school board proof. Suspend policy 1 5.4, which allows the vote to take place on the same night information is given in order to vote on ordering vehicles for transportation. So moved. Second. So a motion and a second. All those in favor? All opposed? All opposed, Mr. Shuttleworth? <coughs> Have a motion of school board approves the purchase of two Chevy and Palace from the state contract. So moved. Second. Motion to second. Any discussion? All those in favor? All opposed? Opposed, Mr. Shuttleworth? I have a motion to school board approve the bills. I move. Second. I have a motion to second. Any discussion? All those in favor? All opposed? One opposed, Mr. Shuttleworth? I have a motion to school board <coughs> convenes a closed meeting for the purpose of discussing personnel matters regarding resignation, retirement, supplements, adjustments, performance, discipline, and superintendent's evaluation pursuant to the Personnel Exemptions Code of Virginia 2.2-3711A1. I move. Second. We have a motion in the second. All those in favor. None opposed, Ms. Shuttleworth. We will hold closed session in here. And we will. Motion me to be closed and the board certifies that to the best of each member's knowledge, only public business matters lawfully exempted from the open meeting to which this certification applies. No one says business matters as were identified in the motion concerning the closed meeting were heard, discussed, or considered. So moved. Second. Mr. Shuttleworth, can you certify, please? Mr. Yes. Mr. Ferguson? Yes. 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 Second. I have a motion to second. All those in favor? Not opposed, Ms. Shuttleworth. I have a motion. I have a motion to be adjourned. Second.